And I, I can give some insights since I've been at the judges' meetings dealing with this issue. Um, we get literally millions and millions of pages of documents filed every year. And when we are going from a, a paper uh, environment to a paperless environment, there were some concerns about the loss of information that's out there, very important information. Before each judge had a confidential file that if there was a report by a doctor, if there was a police report alleging uh, domestic violence, all that would be in the court's personal file. But when they switched over and they went to a paperless um, system, then the court has spent literally hundreds and thousands of dollars to protect that information. My understanding right now is down to a 1% error rate. Um, and again, the court has spent thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars to address this issue. And when you're talking about millions and millions of documents, when we're down to you know 1% error rate, that's, that's pretty good. We actually have procedures right now for the judges that have their, their confidential file to have their own persons make sure that information is scanned. Now, even though they're doing it, that still means that there, there's going to be some percentage rate of error there. Um, and so that's what we're looking at. It's been very expensive, but, you know, it's very important information for us to have. I'd also recommend uh, Steve Burson. He's the, court, he's the court admin. I'm seeing a head shaking there. Um, he is somebody that who would be able to put it on the judges, our, our agenda when we meet. Um, if you're not getting anything there, I would suggest Gloria Sanchez, who is the presiding judge. She'd probably be the next person. Um, I, I can certainly check into it and bring it up in our discussion to see where we're at. If I would, what I would do is I would send a letter to Steve Grierson, ma'am, just send a letter to him, put your detail, you know, your information in there, detail what your concerns are specifically, and CC me on that letter, and I'll make sure all the other judges get it, and they can look at it, and we can make a determination if you're getting problems, if you're having problems getting your information to the right people. That you can do, and once there's a detailed, you know, specified, you know, document that tells us what you're looking for, we we can at least address it and see what we can do there. We've done all that. Then I I don't know what else you you, you can do. Um, Our children are just going to continue to die. Well, I, I can tell you in in my in my department, domestic violence and even other statutes here. There, there are laws that address as far as whether you would get primary custody versus joint physical custody when domestic violence is an issue. And I tell you, in my department, that's a very important issue that, that I address every day. So if, if you have one of your members coming into my department, um, I'm, I'm going to address that. And that would go not only for the women, but I have cases where the, the women are, you know, the ones committing domestic violence and, you know, the, the men are entitled to those same rights also.